Well, good morning, everyone. Take your Bibles to Deuteronomy 131, and we're in promise number 247. But before we jump into promise number 247, the invitation still stands. You are invited to join us at the Journey Baptist Church this Sunday morning at 1015 a.m. And we are in a great series called Spiritual Disciplines, things that will help us live out our life with meaning and purpose. And at the same time, please the Lord. And so we want to invite you to join us for that this Sunday morning at 1015 a.m. Uh, everyone is welcome. Back to promise number 247. Here it is. God promises that he will carry us in his arms just like a father carries his child. And so listen to Deuteronomy 131 and, and catch the promise. It sounds like it's a promise to a certain group of people. And I think a lot of times people just dismiss the Old Testament. But the truth is we're looking at the character of God. When we look into the Old Testament, we're looking to what he has done, uh, what he promised to do, and then what he followed through with. And so we see all these wonderful things happening for people in some of the craziest circumstances. So verse 31 says this, it says, And in the wilderness where thou hast seen, how the Lord thy God bare thee as a man doth bear his son in all the way that you went until you came into this place. He's talking about the promised land until he came to the place where they were getting ready to enter in. He said, I, I carried you through the wilderness. And so the Old Testament is a critical piece of our understanding of God's care. He tells the Jewish people that all they need to do is look at how he cared for them before in the wilderness. And then he likens it to a man that's carrying his son. Like uh, if our son runs out of energy, and I'm not maybe not talking about our adult son, uh, but maybe a young child, a, a dad just sees his son running out of energy. I remember a time when we were in Bryce Canyon and our son wanted to walk down into the canyon. He was so gung-ho to walk down in, but he was not gung-ho to walk back out. And it was downhill going in it was uphill going out and this dad had to carry him out but it wasn't a burden because I love my son I wasn't going to leave him at the bottom because no one would carry him and so God wants us to catch that, that that there was a certain way that he cared for his people when they were in the wilderness uh, we are never alone and we are never left to our own thinking or strength when we walk with God I, I don't mean uh, uh, that we saying that we believe in God. I don't mean that because I think that there's a lot of people that say they believe in God, but then don't live like it. But not really, I think a lot of people don't have really any time or energy for him. I mean, for those who have devoted their lives to pursuing and fulfilling God's will, they're being carried by the Lord. They can be carried by the Lord. You can expect that the Lord will carry you through much of that. Now, imagine how much energy we would save if we were being carried. Now think about that for a second, because he doesn't say when it gets tough and gets uphill, I'll carry you. This is when you walk with me, when, when no matter what the circumstances are, you're going to use much less energy because I'm going to be with you and I'm going to be carrying you. I'm going to be directing you. You're not going to have to do unnecessary up and downs on the, on the hills. You're going to be following a path that I have designed for you and I am going to care for you. Uh, listen, um, too many are living for themselves instead of for God and are worn out or have nothing left for God, nothing left to show for it. Just so you know, what, I, what I'm, I'm, I'm saying doesn't even mean uh, the thing you use your life for or pursue would need to go. See, I think a lot of people assume that that when I'm talking about get rid of the things that are in the way, they, they assume that that means that they'll never have those things ever again. And in some cases, that might be true. Some of our pursuits are so selfish that they only benefit me and they don't benefit anything that's happening in the world. And so God would want us to un unload those things to lighten the load. Uh, but the truth is, is many of the things that we're pursuing with our lives are the things that God wants us to pursue with our lives. We've just gotten them out of order and we pursue them over God or instead of God. And God says, hey, if you'll walk with me, like when you were in the wilderness, I will get you through. I'll provide for you. I will care for you uh, like a man carries his son. And so let that be an encouragement to you today. When you feel like the burden is heavy, let God carry if 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 they feel like maybe maybe there's another way to go about this instead let god carry and so god wants us to surrender to him so that he can shoulder the burden he even tells us anyone that, that is weary and 
and really under a heavy burden, you come to me and I will shoulder most of that burden for you. It's going to be a lot lighter in my setting than in the world's ways of doing things. And so let that be an encouragement to you. God loves to carry the ones that he loves. And so be encouraged today. God is with you. And when it gets to be too much, he's, he's going to carry you. He's going to see you through to the end. Have a great day.